Fit360 are pleased to announce the release of a new version of our Fitfoot360 software, version 3. Now, as always, clinical control and patient outcome remain our priority, but we also like to add features in there for 3D printing and for milling as well. Now, back in version 2.1, we added features for designing and manufacturing TPU devices. We added color into there as well, and also the ability to be able to view the outcome of a design on the screen. So what have we added in version 3? Well, the first thing I'd like to show you is the ability to view a design without having to go inside. So straight from the patient area, we can open and view the design and see what we've got. In the scan area, being able to remove data was always a challenge, but now we've speeded the process up and give you much more control over scan data. We've also added notes into the software. We can add information in here that you can carry through into your manufacturing process later down the line. One of the features that a lot of you asked for was the ability to be able to deal with children's feet. Now, in the past, it was always difficult with our style files to get the blend between the arch and the heel right. But now the new style file we've added in version 3 allows you to continue on a very small foot here, only 80 millimeters long, in the same way as you would do on an adult's foot, giving you full clinical control over the design. We can now taper the distal edge of a full foot device, uh, whether we are increasing the thickness and keep maintaining that thickness of three millimeters. And also more importantly now, we can taper it down to zero. So you have a lot more control over the thickness of your device, whether it's a, a shell or a full foot. One of my favorite features in version three is the ability to visualize the forefoot rear foot relationship when you're doing scan manipulation, or more importantly, when you're aligning the insole to the heel. So now you've got total control over the position and orientation of your device. We've always had the ability to control the forefoot rear foot relationship by morphing the scan, but in version three, we've added sculpting, the ability to add material, subtract material, and even to control the profile. Here, we're looking at being able to fit to the scan. We're looking to spline areas to smooth through it and also drop points down to the plane. We can then sculpt that surface to give us the ultimate blend and then smooth the profile back in. Here, giving us total control, but we can still manipulate the arch and other features in the device. We've always had skies in Fitfoot360, but this new sky, which is one that allows us to control the axis of force through the foot by aligning to the subtalar joint to give us a very controlled sky, is a new feature in version 3. To improve the accuracy of our design when we're in the surface modifications tool, we can now visualize existing shapes in there while we're designing new ones. This increases the accuracy. Now in 2.1, we added the pattern design tool, it enables you to create any shape you want and position it. And we also added the ability to be able to view items that have been designed. Now in version three, there is a new addition to the pattern tool that allows you to put islands in there in your patterns. So you can create much more complex shapes on the bottom of the surface. For those of you making positive molds, version three adds a huge amount of functionality. In the past, we were very restricted on what features we could add into a positive mold. In fact, we could only do relief really, and a few positive shapes. In version three, we can add all of our surface modifications in and it will trim them. So in this case here, we're overlapping a relief on the forefoot. We've got a bar that we've added that overlaps the boundaries. And when we go into our positive tool, you will see that all of those features are maintained within the positive mold. And when we export that, it will be maintained for machining. So you've got absolute control over all of your shapes. So that covers the main features of version three. If you want to learn more about the version three features, please go to our e-learning site where there's a whole set of videos describing it in much more detail.